how's everybody doing today and as you can see we're going to be rebuilding the new york yankees i already have them selected here so if you guys want to see some more rebuilds make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always let me know which team you guys would like to see rebuilt next so with that being said the yankees let's just get into it there's definitely some changes that i would i would make i forgot i didn't have my webcam on um and you're probably thinking, well, they don't need a rebuild. Well, there's there's definitely some changes that could be made. I think some players' contracts are really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. So that, that's definitely an area where I want to change. Because I just some of these contracts, when you look at them, they just don't look good. Tanaka's got a big contract. Jacoby Ellsbury is still getting paid quite a bit for the next few years. You got Jay Happ. Um, DJ LeMahieu's not too bad. Um, but he still might be a player I look to trade. Aaron Hicks is signed for like the next eight years. You got um, Severino. You've got, you still have to pay Judge. Um, Giancarlo Stanton signed for like the next 10 years. So there's some big contracts that I definitely want to figure out. So let's take a look at the team, see how things go. Um, right now, I like this one, two, three, four. I want to find a new starter um, instead of Jay Happ. But the bullpen's good. I really like the bullpen. I think that's one of the best areas of the Yankees. Um, and then obviously Chapman is the closer. Catcher, Gary Sanchez, we should be set. I really like um, him as a catcher here. Like it's just, he's just one of the best catchers in the league. No doubt about it. Luke Voigt, I'm, I'm cool with keeping him at first base. You know, he definitely grows in franchise. So I, could, you know, I want to keep him at first base. Second base, Glaber Torres, not going anywhere. Third base, I kind of want to give Andujar a chance. Um, and then just trade DJ Mayhew. That way we can get rid of his contract. Um, and then that way we can, you know, reinvest that money somewhere else. Shortstop Didi Gregorius. As much as I think he does well uh, for the Yankees, I think it might be time to move on. Plus, he usually decreases once he hits the age of 30. So it's a player that I would rather find somebody else. We also have this guy, Anthony Volpe, who they just drafted in real life, who I think will increase very, very quickly. Left field, Stanton, we're good. Center field, Aaron Hicks, we're good. Um, it's a big contract, but you know I think we'll we'll be fine with it. And then in right field, Aaron Judge. So overall, the lineup's good. The pitching rotation's good. They don't need a lot of changes. The big thing with this team is contract management. Can we afford to bring in good players while still being able to stay within you know the salary to still be able to you know keep some players that are good um and stuff like that which that's the big thing just the salary cap issue um with this team can we can we really work with that when we still have to pay aaron judge um and a couple other players Andujar is going to need to be paid soon glaber torres is going to be need to need to be paid soon and that's kind of the big thing with this team so let's make a couple trades see how things go all right so first trade jacoby ellsbury for tyler chatwood um the only i mean he's not going to pitch for us this season um, or ever it's just mostly I want to get rid of the three-year contract of Ellsbury and then we can get the one-year contract of Chatwood and then we can just get him off the books after this Alrighty, J Hap Luis Sesa for Ryan Zimmerman and Coda Glover again I want to get rid of J Hap's contract Zimmerman expires at the end of the year and then Coda Glover is just kind of a young pitcher um, that's a little bit better than Sesa a little bit younger and I feel like if one of our bullpen arms ever you know starts decreasing or we just need a new bullpen arm in the future who's going to not have a huge salary. Coda Glover is going to be that guy. Um, and I'm thinking more of, let's, again, get rid of a long-term contract, bring in one that expires at the end of the year so we can use that money to pl pay players that are definitely going to need to be paid pretty soon. Alrighty, DJ LeMahieu for Jorge Polanco. Um, I like this trade because it's a six-year deal for Polanco. He's not going to be paid any much, like any higher than $8 million. So I think for this deal, it works out for us rather than having to pay, what is it, $12 million for the next two years, um, plus Polanco's 25. He's 80 overall. Um, he's going to develop into a really good shortstop. And I feel like that way, now we have our shortstop position figured out because, like I said, Didi Gregorius is probably a player I'm going to look to trade. Alrighty, the catcher Kyle Higashioka, 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 Trevor Steven, and Didi Gregorius. We just brought in Jorge Polanco. Um, it's probably time to move on from Didi Gregorius. Anyways, for Herman Marquez, six-year deal. It doesn't get too big. It's seven and a half million over the next six years. So that way we bring in the new starter that we won't have to pay for the 
entirety of this rebuild and uh, it fills that spot that we lost from Jay Happ leaving. Season one is going to look like this. We're going to have Polanco, Hicks, Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, Andrew Hart, Gleyber Torres, Gary Sanchez, Ryan Zimmerman, and Luke Voigt. On the bench, we have Brett Gardner, Gio Urshela, and Austin Romine. For the rotation, it looks like this. Paxton, Severino, Tanaka, Herman, and Marquez. So we got Domingo Herman and Herman Marquez. And then we got Jordan Montgomery, Britton Holder, Canely, Chad Green, Batances, and Adovino. I might do this, actually. We'll see how that works out. We got Chapman closing the door. Overall, it's not too bad. Um, I, I still want to move some of these bigger contracts while we can. Um, some players to look out for for the future are, you know, Tyler Wade, maybe. Uh, we got Tyro Estrada. Let's see. We got Volpe, like I've mentioned. Clint Frazier, maybe. Uh, Mike Talkman, probably not. Estefan Floreal. Antonio Cabello. And in real life, they're very rumored to sign Jason Dominguez. So we're just going to do it right away. We're going to get that done. He's not going to be in the majors. Not a chance. Nice try. He'll play in AAA. So there's that. There's the lineup. There's the pitching rotation. Let's get season one underway. All right. So season one's draft actually went pretty solid. Perry McKay's got 86 potential. He's a 69 overall. Um, Esteban De La Cruz is 63 overall. He's got 86 potential. Theo Zambrano. Um, another right fielder, 61 overall, 84 potential. Tom Sheridan's got 82 potential. And then Carlos Cardona was our very last pick. And he's got 97 potential, but I doubt we'll we'll see him in this rebuild. So, so far, the draft's going pretty well. Season 1's going pretty good. See you guys at the end of the season. Season 1, 145 and 58. We're taking on the winner of the wild card game. Let's see how the season finished. We had the most runs, Giancarlo Stanton and James Paxton pitched pretty well so i'm assuming he won cy young um so we got a couple gold gloves and then a cy young for james paxton which i mean based on what i saw there i would i would assume let's take a look at the lineup jorge polanco not too bad 277 and then 14 home runs not that's pretty good especially for a leadoff hitter that's not too bad at all um aaron hicks almost 280 so his best offensive season in terms of average and stuff home runs and rbis Pretty similar to last year. Aaron Judge, 252. Um, arbitration for the next couple of years. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But home runs and RBIs definitely up from last season, which is awesome to see. Giancarlo Stanton hit 300 with 40 home runs, 123 RBIs. Gary Sanchez hit 33 home runs. So pretty, pretty comparable to his 2017 season. Just his average was down a little bit. Glaber Torres is up to an 89 already. He hit 33 home runs and 89 RBIs with a almost 300 average, which is awesome to see. Andujar, he's going up, which is what I want to see, especially since he's our starting third baseman now. Ryan Zimmerman as our DH hit 261, and Luke Voigt hit almost 300. So, like I said, I was going to keep him around for a reason. He definitely proved his worth. Gio Urshel is not looking too bad for a bench bat at all, so... We might have a nice little platoon player there. So looking at James Paxton's numbers, oh my, those are gross. Sub one whip, 2.12 ERA and 212 or 229 strikeouts, 22 and five on the air. Oh man, that's those are just gross numbers. Luis Severino, very good numbers. Tanaka, not not terrible, not terrible at all. ERA is a little high, but still very respectable. Domingo Herman, you know, not too bad. He's probably probably our three starter. Maybe our four starter, Tanaka is our five, and then Marquez is our three. Overall, not too bad. Jordan Montgomery wasn't too terrible in the long relief role. Chad Green is meh. Um, Jordan Holder did well. Tommy Canely's okay. Batances struggled this year. Adovino's not terrible. I uh, wish it was a little bit better. Zach Britton was lights out, and then Chapman lights out as well. So, I mean, the team looks really solid. Um, we're going to have a lot of good prospects joining us next season. So let's see how these uh, we're taking on the Angels. So how these playoffs turn out. We got ooh, we lose. Really? We're facing elimination. OK. Um, we'll lose season one. So let's just see how things go. We got eliminated by the Angels. Really? OK, well, let's get into the offseason. Season one didn't go too well in terms of the playoffs. Season went great. You know, we finished first. So let's get into these, this offseason. Sabathia retired, which is expected. 
Um, let's take a look at some negotiations. Betances didn't do too well. Um, really, Romine. If we can get him for like two years, bring this down. Um, yeah, no one else. Betances though, like looking at our bullpen, we have plenty of pitchers. We have Coda Glover. I'll give Betances one year if he's willing to take it. Um, see how he does. If he takes it, oh well. All right, and then we'll let the rest of the people walk. Let's go to free agency, and then let's look at arbitration really fast. Arbitration. Um, not Farquhar. Bird will get it, but I don't think anybody else will. And then contracts wise. Yeah, see, this is what I was like anticipating. That's why I wanted to get rid of some of these big contracts because we got to pay Torres, Voight, and Duhar. You know, so we, we had some big contracts coming up. So everybody should get one that I see here. Um, that's season one. Alrighty, season two. Um, we signed a couple guys just to kind of fill out some of our rosters because I let a lot of older players leave. So you guys can see all these players here that were just kind of just kind of signed to fill in the roster. Nothing too crazy. Um Jason Dominguez was brought in. We talked about that already. Let's see here. First year, first year. Um, I brought in one player, Jose Abreu, um, as our DH. He's a good hitter. We're going to bring him in for two years, $6 million a year. I feel like it's, it's nothing crazy. Um, it's a decent deal. Tori Gomez was a reliever that was available as well. A potential. I like, I like that one a lot. So we'll take a look at our prospects again really quickly. You guys can see we, we got some decent ones. I'm excited to see how they progress throughout the rebuild. So there's that. I have a trade in mind. And you guys are going to think I'm crazy. But Giancarlo Stanton's going to get paid a lot. And like I said, we're going to have some contracts that we're going to have to worry about throughout this. And I have a player in mind that I want to trade for that I think will work out with this team really, really well. He's younger, so he shouldn't decrease in rating that much. Uh, we are going to have to give up quite a bit for this trade to work. But really should have I, I made this trade in the off season like I, I had it sorted but it looks like we're gonna have to rearrange it a little bit here we go we're gonna throw in hoy john park esteban florial um we have jason dominguez for uh, a center field prospect and then we're gonna giancarlo stanton's the big piece here giancarlo stanton's contract's about to get really really bad over the next couple seasons, he's 30 years old, so he probably won't decrease just yet. But we're going to get someone a little bit better. Ronald Acuna Jr. is going to be the big trade here. Um, I think he's going to fit really well in left field. His contract stays at $10 million, um, throughout the entirety of this rebuild. So it shouldn't. we don't have to worry about it increasing. So we get a guy who's younger who's only going to get better. I like this trade for us. So that's going to be the only move that I wanted to make for season two on top of like the couple free agency signings. So the pitching rotation is the exact same. No changes being made to it. Um, so far, so good. The lineup with Acuna. I mean, it's almost like nothing happened. He moves up to an eight, uh, 98 once we moved him to left field. His natural position. I, I mean, it's just... I feel like it, it's a little bit better of a trade. It's an upgrade. I know we traded a couple prospects, but it's a good move for us. Season two, we won the division once again, 109 and 53, taking on the winner of the wild card. So again, we're in a good spot. We just got to make it past that first round. Acuna had a really good year. Aaron Hicks, like he had, looks like he had a really good year as well. And then Severino had the best whip. So any awards? MVP for Acuna. Okay, so it looks like the trade paid off already. We'll take a look. Jorge Polanco's pretty consistent with where he's sitting. In terms of um, average and stuff, home runs went up. Aaron Hicks is still doing very well, which is awesome to see. He hit 40 home runs this year. Holy cow. Um, Acuna in the three spot, 50 home runs almost, 134 RBIs, 103 walks. Okay. A 319 average and a 426 slugging. Aaron Judge, he went down. I don't understand. He had a better year. I, I don't I don't get that. Gary Sanchez, um, yikes. That's a rough. That's a rough year for him. Andujar is going up, which is good. Great year for him. Glaber Torres is a 90. His potential's gone down though, um, probably because he didn't do as well from the previous season. Jose Abreu. I mean, those are good numbers for a player who's supposed to be like going down the decline. And then Luke Voigt's up to an 89. He had his best offensive season as well. So 
some players going down i don't like that i don't really understand the whole system from mlb it's really weird um urshela talkman and romine didn't really do too well off the bench but let's take a look at our pitchers severino looks great um paxton looks like he still did very well not as good as last year obviously but i mean last year was like record breaking it looked like herman marquez okay would like to see that era go down a little bit domingo herman solid and tanaka you know eh not that great jordan montgomery is looking really good in the long relief role chad green looks amazing this season adovino not so much holder did very well canely yikes yikes Betances, very good comeback year perfect you know we signed him for a year deal and it, he definitely worked out well britain did very well and so did chapman so overall team's looking solid team's looking really good so let's take a look see how some of our prospects are doing loa side loa siga um is up to a 76 chance adams is a 73 okay acevedo's there okay 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 um bullpen we got coda glovers up to a 79 so we could probably let tommy canely go and let coda glover come in we got tarpley who's there joe harvey who's here uh gomez that guy we signed didn't really go up much which is unfortunate um greg bird's still that rating perry mackey who we's uh, drafted is up to a 73, which is awesome to see. He's already better than Tyler Wade. So he, Tyler Wade might be a player I look to trade. Um, see if we can get somebody a little bit better to help us out. Anthony Volpe is up to a 72 already, which is which is really nice. I like that. Um, doesn't look like much else. Oh, Dominguez is up to a 69, which is awesome. And then De La Cruz is a 67, and Zambrano is a 64. So we've, we've got some growth in the prospects so let's see who we're taking on in the playoffs the rays divisional opponent and we move on we're gonna be taking on houston let's get our rotation set so boom holy cow marquez got rocked so we're gonna we're not gonna worry about that for right now so first game we win second game we win Ooh, we swept them, um, swept them and we're taking on the phillies in the world series Let's go boom. Yeah, let's let's take Marquez. Let's move him back. It looks like he's struggling in the postseason. And going into the World Series against the Phillies. We might get swept. Are you serious? We gotta we gotta come back. We can't let this happen. We can't get swept in the, the postseason here. Alright, at least the World Series. So alright. Not the best start. So looking at the team it looks exactly the same bryce harper goes deep of course um and then real muto goes deep so we're down two nothing can we at least get one back i mean they're only okay i was gonna say their only two hits are their home runs so there we go luke voigt gets it back ties up the game so so far so good got through five that's probably domingo's last um inning oh can we get a run here we can't I said that that's his last inning for sure Let's see if we yeah especially since he's coming up to hit we're gonna go I want to save a brave so let's go with Urshela he walks with two outs first and second come on Hicks oh man couldn't do anything all right so we got two lefties let's go to Montgomery and then we're, we're gonna go to a couple right we got a couple righties coming up let's go to the righties oh come on one run scores really so we got a walk strike out strike out strike out really we just got struck out like the side just got struck out like that all right so it comes down to this bottom our top nine are we really gonna get swept in the the world series nicasio has no energy he's literally like he has like this much on screen like i, I, I i'm gonna remove my face so you guys can see it like look at that he has no energy at all. Like, we need to take advantage of this. Really? <sighs> all right. So, we got a playoff MVP, Aaron Judge. Nick Williams? Really? All right. So, at least we made it to the World Series. So, we're we're, we're moving up. And that's awesome to see. So, let's let's just keep moving forward. Um, good second season. We made... I mean, we... We made it to the World Series. Um, let's give Betances another one-year deal. 
Um, I mean, he did really well. James Paxton, do we? Let's give him a one-year deal. I mean, there's no point in who 16 million. Let's see if there's someone else available. If not, we can always bring him back. Tanaka was good as well. If he wants a small deal, I'll give it to him. 10 a year. We'll, we'll, we'll see if there's something else available. So let's keep going. Um, Should have simmed. All right, cool. Arbitration. Everybody. Everybody's going to get arbitration there. And contracts are all going to be sm small ones. So yeah, everyone's getting a contract. All right, season three. I didn't sign any of our pros, like our draft picks from second season because no one had a better potential than an 80. And normally I would select them, but um, at this point, the Yankees are such a good team. I felt like if we need, if we were gonna sign anybody, um, they needed to be like high 80s potential and they needed to be close to a 70 already. And none of them were really that good. I think our highest potential player was like 81 and he was like a, a 60, no, he was like a, yeah, he was like a 62. So I just decided we're, we're gonna set aside, we're not gonna sign any of their, those um, draft picks because the ones we, that we have from season one are really good and I really wanna get them involved. So this season, we signed Hyunjin Ryu. Um, again, he's a good little like one, two year signing for a starting pitcher. He wanted like three, four million less than Tanaka. So for one year, this will be really good. It allows some of our prospects to develop. Um, who else? Oh, this guy, 74 uh, overall closer. I know we don't really need one, but we if he may up he may be a good trade piece in the future. And then Benito Quesada is a starting pitcher. Um, he looks decent. He's 68 overall, good per nines already at 19. He looks like a good little addition to the squad. So not much has changed with the team. Uh, we brought up Tyro Estrada because he's higher rated than Gio Urshela. Other than that, everything else is the same. Um, a player I might look to move is Jorge Polanco. I have a player in mind that I want to trade for, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to bring him in. Looking at some of our prospects, Anthony Volpe is a player I think will get featured by season four, uh, probably by season five. Um, when you look at our uh, starting rotation and stuff, I want to move Jordan Montgomery to the starting rotation soon. Um, I just I want to give him another season or two to develop. Coda Glover came in. Tommy Canely was left in the uh, free agency pool, but we'll take a quick look at some of our prospects. You guys can see here, De La Cruz from season one's already up to a 67. Um, Theo Zombrano's up to a 64. We got Dominguez up to a 67 as well. Uh, who else, who else? Volpe, 72, but that was like a real life draft pick. Um, uh, Mackey, 73, which is good. Um, and I think that's it. The rest are like these guys. We, we signed this guy, Gomes, Gomez. We got a couple guys down here who are already in the farm system. And then pitchers, uh, Loasiga, Loasiga, I, whatever, whatever his name is, he's there. Um, and then you guys can see some of the other ones. I think, yeah, like he's the closest one to being called up. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But we do have a couple players I want to probably trade just because I don't think they're going to develop much more. Tyler Wade's one of them. I don't think he's going to get much better. So he's a player I'd be interested in trading. Same with Clint Frazier. Um, and I'm going to see if I can maybe include them with Jorge Polanco to get a short stop that I'm really interested in trading for. So if I can make that happen, that, that'll be the trade we make before the season starts. If not, let's get started with season three. Already at the deadline. So Aaron Hicks is starting to decline. Um, decrease in rating. I figured, you know what? We still have him for another five years on a contract. Let's get rid of that contract and let's get someone that's a little bit younger and can kind of hold this off until Jason Dominguez is ready. And that player is going to be Joey Gallo, not necessarily a center fielder. What we're going to do is we're going to move Acuna to center and we're going to move Joey Gallo to left. We're adding Clint Frazier and Tyler Wade, two players who I don't think are ever going to really reach their potential. So Two A potential players in Frazier and Wade. We're going to trade for Gyro Solis or Jairo Solis um, and Joey Gallo. So, I mean, it's not a bad trade. We're getting rid of the aging Hicks. Two players I don't think are ever going to reach the potential for Joey Gallo. Alrighty, so 104 and 58. We won the division again. We're taking on the Astros in the divisional series. League leaders Acuna again. He's just, it's looking like we made the right decision in trading for Acuna. Silver Slugger, a Hank Aaron Award. And then a gold gold glove for Gary Sanchez. Okay. Yoan Moncada. Really MVP. So let's take a look 
see what we got going here so polanco hit 285 okay so a player i was looking to trade actually had a pretty solid season um glaber torres hit about 300 which is awesome to see his overalls going up 30 home runs okay acuna 317 41 home runs and 118 rbis it's just crazy numbers aaron judge very similar numbers to previous seasons joey gallo 35 home runs 99 rbis solid and up to an 85 so he went up one rating i believe luke voigt's looking like he's starting to fall off like numbers just halved and then gary sanchez wish it was a little bit better but i'm not gonna complain jose abreu not not terrible not as good as the previous two seasons but i'm not gonna like freak out about it um estrada solid numbers for a bench bat not gonna not gonna hate on those and then jason dominguez and four 400 average and 10 at bats i mean not too bad not too bad let's take a look at our pitching rotation really quick you guys can see here solid numbers i mean rio not so much but everybody else really solid numbers herman marquez really good and then let's take a look at our bullpen here holder not bad i mean actually really good from holder really good from britain coda glover eh Chad Green, solid. Patances, really good. Chapman, not so much. A little worry, little worrisome. Little, like, it's a little bit worrying what Chapman did. So let's go against the Astros. And we're advancing, taking on the Rays. Let's uh let's move the rotation around a little bit. Um we'll do. We'll do that since. Domingo Herman had a really rough outing, so we move on. Take back to the World Series, taking on the Braves. All right, so one game away. Come on, there we go. World Series in season three. Great, that's good to see. So playoff MVP Luke Voigt and Acuna World Series MVP. All right, Luke Voigt had five home runs during the postseason. Really quickly, let's take a look, see how everybody did. Glaber Torres went cold. Holy cow. Um, but overall, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the way the team performed. Pitching rotation, I think Domingo Herman got roughed up a bit. But overall, it's looking like everyone did pretty solid. Chad Green, not so much, but overall, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on what what the team did. It looks like Adovino's really dipping overall, so. He's done in New York. So season three, World Series title. So back-to-back -back World Series appearances. This time we won it. Let's get into the offseason. Let's see if we can um, figure out who we want to sign, who we want to bring back. Exclusive negotiations. Chapman. We don't really have anybody that can come in yet what does he want 11 million i'm gonna see if we can find somebody else zach Britton did really well we're gonna bring him back for we'll do a year um Betances, how'd Betances do Betances has done really well since we've been doing like these one-year deals so we're gonna keep doing just gonna keep them going um just just because like i can't i can't be like yeah we're gonna bring you back we're gonna do really good things and then what happens? He just falls off. So Austin Romine, he's been our backup catcher. We're just going to keep it going. Yeah, we don't. I mean, we have one guy that's coming up, but he's not amazing just yet. So those are the contracts we're going to do. Britain, Betances, and Romine. There's that. Let's get to the next stage of free agency. Arbitration. Yeah, everybody should get it. Contracts wise. Yeah, everybody should get it as well. Alrighty, so the only addition in free agency was Archie Archie Bradley. Um, when you look at the squad, everything's the same. I'm going to give Andujar one more season. If he doesn't crack like 88 this year, I think it's time to move on from him. Same with Voight. I think Voight, it's probably time to find a new first baseman. Um, Tyro Estrada is going to start at third. I mean, we have McKay, who looks like he's going to be pretty solid in, like next season. Same with Volpe. But I don't know if they're going to be ready just yet. Um, looking at the rotation, we've added Loisiga to the starting rotation. We got Acevedo there. Jordan Montgomery's hopped in as well. And then we're going to have Thomas Gorman, who we signed, I think, last offseason, top in as well. So the bullpen is kind of shaking up a little bit. 
starting rotation, I, I'm going to have a little bit of questions about, but, um, you know, I feel like we, we, we do have a couple prospects we could trade to get better players if we need to. So it's looking like Andujar, Voigt, and a couple uh, pitching player, pitching like starters and bullpen are kind of like the players I have my eyes on. I'm going to move the rotation around mostly because, or the starting lineup around just because I don't want Joey Gallo so low in the lineup. When, you know, we have power for days. So I'm going to move the lineup around so it fits a little bit better. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what season four is looking like. If we need to make a trade, we'll make it at the deadline. Um, I'll give you guys a quick little ins inside look into how the prospects are doing. Um, right field, we got De La Cruz up to a 69. Zambrano up to a 67. Jason Dominguez is a 73. I know he's our second best uh, center fielder, but I want to I want to give him more minor league time. Uh, Volpe, 77. Uh, Mackey, 78. We drafted him. And then pitchers, we got Gomez who we picked up in free agency. Gorman, who we picked up in free agency. Um, nobody here. And then starting rotation, we got Adams, Sheridan, Smith, Quezada, who we picked up in free agency. And then we drafted, where is he? Cardona, but he's only a 62. So he's definitely not going to feature in this rebuild. So there's kind of our prospects and everything. Let's get season four underway. At the deadline, we're going to sign, or uh, we're going to trade for a better long reliever. Um, Domingo Acevedo is just not doing good enough. Nick Kingham of the Pirates looks pretty solid. He is 30. Um, and it's, you know, he's still got arbitration though, but he's having a solid season. And last year he had a really good year as well. Um, we're going to get, we're going to trade Domingo Acevedo, Austin Romine, and Albert Abreu. Um, we're going to need to sign a catcher, I believe, because the one we have in AAA just, I don't think he's ready just yet. So we'll just, we'll just sign somebody for a season doesn't really matter who yeah we'll just we'll just sign somebody so with that in mind so this this is the new everything else is the same we're good we're good for now that's the trade i was making at the deadline season four finishes us uh sees us finishing 107 and 55 we're taking on the winner of the wild card um we've been really consistent with that league leaders sanchez had the most home runs and Couple, a couple pitching stats as well. Let's take a look at our awards. Herman Marquez and Joey Gallo with a gold glove. And Marquez had Cy Young. So let's take a look at the lineup. See how things did. Jorge Polanco's, I mean, pretty consistent from last season. Acuna's just killing it. Um, a really good addition to the squad since we traded for him. Aaron Judge is going down. Don't really like that. Joey Gallo. Gleyber Torres is looking unreal. He's a 99. He hit 40 home runs this year. He's crazy good. Gary Sanchez had a good season, which is awesome to see. And Duhar. Maybe you just got to make him a DH to make him really good. 105 RBIs. Luke Voigt had kind of a rebound season. And Tyro Estrada is looking decent as well. Bench is okay. Nothing too special. Pitching rotation. Sevi's doing all right. Herman's doing not too bad not too bad marquez that's those are some cy young numbers holy cow montgomery did well and lois Siga, not terrible um but he's definitely the fifth starter for a reason but when you look at everybody else not 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 really comparable to what everybody else did kingdom not too bad holder lights out amazing chad green eh. uh coda glover looks really good gorman struggled a little bit but first season i'm not gonna stress too much about it Zach Britton struggled a bit. Betances looked really good. And so did Archie Bradley. Let's see if we have any players who could be called up next season. Um, maybe Gomez. He's He jumped up quite a bit. Let's take a look. Um, maybe Mackey. Mackey could be a good little bench bat for us. Good contact versus lefties. Volpe. Volpe's looking like he's ready soon. That's really about it in terms of prospects. So let's get into this see how things go taking on the rays and we are facing elimination <laughs> it's gonna be one of those months or it's, it's gonna be one of those years huh so we're gonna go with let's go with marquez taking on the rays let's see how things go here first and second for judge perfect three run bomb that's exactly what you want looking at the rays lineup it looks almost like the same like nothing has changed 
So it's just a bunch of players have progressed like we've seen in the Rays rebuild. Um, you, you, you guys know that they, they uh, develop quite nicely as a team. They got a lot of good young players. So they haven't scored. They, they just scored. So I was going to say they haven't scored yet, but they just did. All right, Marquez has gone through four pretty pretty well so far. Let's keep it that way. There we go, five now. Joey Gallo leads off with a double. Gio Rochella adds on two more. Bases loaded for Judge. Ah, wasn't able to get another home run, but Marquez is done after six. We get a walk, double play. As I say that, he's gonna go through seven. All right, so seven is done for sure. There's no doubt about it. Andujar makes it a seven run game. Oh wow, we're uh, we're making it a little ugly now. Joey Gallo, it's an eleven run game. I thought it was us pitching, so we're just gonna we're gonna bring in someone to bring in, and let's hope Holder can close it out. Close it out. Maybe not. Glover's gonna come in. There we go. So game over. We won that game. Uh, you know what? I feel comfortable. As I say that, we get eliminated, so unfortunate. That's all right. We still have season five. We've won a World Series during this. We've made the World Series twice. So, I mean, I can't complain about it. So, let's get into the next season. See who we need to bring back or who we don't need to bring back. Joey Gallo is definitely a player I want to bring back. Uh, Aaron Judge, he's going to start decreasing, but we're going to bring him back anyways. Tansis is decreasing, even though he's been he's been really good the last three seasons. Uh, get, I mean, we, we're going to have to pay these three a lot. Zach Britton's going down. He's probably done. Chad Green, probably not a player I want to bring back. So definitely Judge, Gallo, and Sanchez. So let's give them offers. Oh, man. These are, these are some big contracts we're paying up. So we're going to have to be careful with the rest of the deals that we do. Let's keep moving forward. And then arbitration. Everybody's going to get one. Contracts, all small ones. Perfect. Let's get into it. All right. We're going to strengthen up our bullpen just a little bit. Clark Schmidt and Steven Tarpley, two kind of B potential players in the mid 70s for Joe Jimenez of the Tigers. Just kind of strengthen. Like I said, we're just trying to strengthen up the bullpen a bit. You guys see what we're rocking with here. Tori Gomez or Gomes is going to step in. We still have Gorman, Holder, Glover. We let Batances and Green walk. Um, they just felt like it was time for them to go. Starting rotation is going to look the same. The lineup, the only change is Perry Mackey. Our draft pick is getting involved. We st um, There's Volpe. He's just not ready qu just quite yet. Not yet, not yet. So there's that. There's the lineup. So, I th I, yeah, I don't think too much else is going to be changing. So, we're just going to leave it like that. Yeah, that's about it. That's it for changes. Just a quick little trade. Show you guys everything um, that's going on. Alrighty, so again, division has been won. 103 and 59 taking on the Indians. Let's take a look. League leaders, Acuna with triples, Polanco with hits, and Sevy and Bradley did quite well. In the pitching department looking at awards we got a gold glove and a Cy young so again Sevy did really well so looking at our team jorge polanco is looking like a great addition at shortstop um best season by far in terms of run production acuna is still hitting 300 with like 30 plus home runs close to 100 rbis every season judge is decreasing and it looks like he's getting like 250 average at best Joey Gallo, 269 with 38 home runs, 110 RBIs. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Glaber Torres had his worst season basically since 2020. So, yikes. Uh, Gary Sanchez had a good year, 269 with 32 home runs and 82 R 87 RBIs. Um, home runs were down, but uh, RBIs were about the same. Andujar, yikes. Yikes. It looks like he's got good, bad, good, bad. So I don't like that trend. Luke Voigt, probably almost time for him to go. Probably get a new first baseman. Tyro Estrada is looking like he's capped out as well. Perry Mackey looks like the real deal. 32, 324 average. Not 32, 324 average. Looks really nice. Um, and then Jason Dominguez is looking like he's getting to the point where he could be pushing for a outfield spot as well. 
pitching Sevi, whoo, lights out. Domingo Herman, not terrible, definitely not terrible. Marquez, a little bit worse, but still not terrible. Jordan Montgomery struggled a bit. Said Loa Siga. Um, Kingham, not too bad as a long reliever. Obviously, not as many opportunities as a starting pitcher. Holder, a little high. Code Glover, a little high. Gomez is a little low, like the best one so far. Um, yeah, he was our best. Yikes. We got Archie Bradley being lights out, but Gomez was our best reliever so looking at everything here starting pitchers moving up a little bit quesada's there and the guy we drafted is still down here but he's hit 70 cardona all right looking at the bullpen no one really of note buford gutierrez i think this was a, a third a third season draft pick he's looking pretty solid uh catcher meh first base meh second base we got mackey uh anduhar and estrada have been fighting out at third Volpe's at 86. Ooh, he's definitely going to be ready for next season. And then Jason Dominguez in center. And we got these two guys in right. It's looking like De La Cruz is getting to the point where he could probably get, get ready to start uh, in the major. So there's that. Let's see how we do against the Indians facing elimination. So how is this going to go? Would really like to advance. Jordan Montgomery's on the mound. We go down one, two, three. Bases. Oh, Tyler Freeman goes deep. Grand slam. Really? We're going against Tristan McKenzie. I mean, we got one back. But then we allow two. So we're down five. Jordan Montgomery, you let me down today. You know what? I'm gonna bite the bullet on this one. They're nine to one, and that is how season five, unfortunately, is gonna end. That's season five, right? Why am I starting to think it's not? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, season five. It was season five. So unfortunately, that's how season five is gonna end. I just last two seasons a little sketchy. We did win that World Series. We made the World Series twice, back to back years. We won it in the third season. Um, after losing it in the second season and then just kind of struggled in the playoffs outside of that the team Definitely should be doing better Unfortunately, um, it's looking like our pitching was a little bit questionable the last couple seasons So we definitely need to get that back to how it was season one two and three um, But ratings are starting to get back up and I think that'll definitely help the road like the bullpen uh, Because that's that's the big question mark. I think right now I mean, Montgomery struggled. Louis Sieg, I didn't even get an opportunity, but you guys can see it's not the best ERAs um, within the bullpen and the starting rotation. So definitely this is the area that needs the most work. This lineup looks solid. Polanco's good. Acuna, Judge, Gallo, Torres, Sanchez. Andujar could probably be traded. Voigt could probably be traded. Um, you got Jason Dominguez coming up. You got per Perry Mackey, who could, I think he plays third base. You could put him at third. If you really wanted to um, move Tyro Estrada to DH, um, then who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? We got uh, who else do we have as a prospect? Volpe is a good one, and then Jason Dominguez really is the other one that sticks out. Esteban De La Cruz is getting to the point where he could be called up too. So there's some good names to look out for for the future. You got Buford Gutierrez here. So some decent pitching prospects as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild of the New York Yankees. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. A big team like this, the main issue is trying to manage all the contracts and make sure you have enough money to sign your big name stars like Judge, like Acuna in this case, Glaber Torres, Gary Sanchez. So that's that was kind of the big thing for this team. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.